What's up, LG gang? I have exciting news today. I went on one of my, mm, I wouldn't say interviews, but I would say a meetup just because um, it has it's affiliated with my teen mom interviews. Um, I'm trying to actually branch out and connect with some nonprofits and um, uh, the community and like some volunteers that's in a community around the DFW area. Um, and I linked up with a special lady. Oh my God, she's so amazing. Michelle Flores. She is the founder and CEO of All Things Made New in Irving. I want you guys to actually go look her up. It's um, basically www. All Things Made New Irving. Or you can just type in your Google search, All Things Made New Irving. Um, her One of her programs of many um, with All Things Made New is called Grace. G-R-A-C-E. Um, and I wanted to read, um, like the, I wouldn't say a mission statement, but a statement from their website. It's, um, grace. So in this program, their goal is to empower and inspire young teen moms, which let me stop there. Like you guys know, I was a teen mom, um, early on in my LG journey, I interviewed myself, told you guys my story. Um, not many people know my story. Um, because I've suppressed it for so long, but I opened up to you guys, and I also interviewed um, my daughter, uh, being raised by a teen mom, and I also um, interviewed my husband, um, being married to a teen mom. So, with that being said, my vision for that, I guess, segment um, of the LG journey is to actually reach out and empower, um, and just tell the truth of the struggle and the um positive well i wouldn't say positive the struggle in the um life journeys of being a teen mom um so i wanted to actually meet with which i did i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm thrilled guys um but i met up with michelle flores um today and i got so much feedback um she wasn't a teen mom, but she's a product of a teen mom. And she has a housing facility, I wouldn't say housing facility, but a safe house um, for these young women and young father or young mothers and young fathers um, just to, I guess, it's so many things that she does. I'm just like speechless, but just to let them know that they do have a place that people can direct them guide them and instill tools positive tools in their lives to help them grow not only for themselves but for those for their children at the same time um and in here it says each young mother is paired with a leader or a mentor who walks beside them and teaches them and like i said instills them and gives them the tools to help raise their own adolescent ch child effectively in the future. Because if you think about it, being a teen mom or being a mom, period, you have to instill certain tools and direct these kids because they're our future. You know, when we're dead and gone, you know, and reality hits and you get that understanding like once we're done, these kids are our future, you know, so why not? fill them up with direction and why not fill them up with positivity and why not fill them up with you can do better than what you see, you know? Um, so with that being said, um, here in the future, and I'll show a little clips, um, after this, um, little, um, conversation that I'm having with you guys. Um, I do want to, and if you guys, any of my subs know, um, any young teen um, that um, would like to either um, come out and volunteer, um, we are, well, I am going to give uh, Michelle a couple of dates um, or all things new, a couple of dates and times, preferably probably on um, either a Friday afternoon or evening or Saturday or Sunday, you know, after two o'clock throw out a couple dates and um, later I'll put like some dates in the description down below once we get um, the A-OK -okay, um, from both teams to come out and volunteer and possibly 
pen pal with some of these young moms and let them know that this is not the end for you. You know, this is not where your life stops. You know, give them a little bit of direction. Um, hope, uh, preferably the ages of 11 and 19. And if, hey, and if you are college uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, any of those ages, um, we would love for you guys to come out too. We need like all hands on deck. But, hey baby. We need like all hands on deck. But she is so amazing. That interview kind of had me speechless. Like when I say speechless, um, it's very rare that I'm speechless because I, all day. Um, but she has a story i have a story they're both different stories and different backgrounds but us put together it'll be an amazing journey you know um i really got excited because thank you shawana carter and she was one of my teen mom interviews i think my number two teen mom interview she connected us together and thank you carter's house for um just serving your community and serving the communities and many families too um but Linking up with her kind of gave me this oomph mentality that it's time to get on the ball about this. So um, comment down below, guys. I hope you guys like some of the clips. Um, some of them are like chopped and screwed or whatever because I was kind of in and out on it. I was so focused on what she had to say and what her vision was um, on All Things Made New. Um, and I was just kind of absorbing everything. And she just real, I think three weeks ago, she um, came across or um, was searching for a, a new building because her old building got flooded. And this is how God works, guys. Like she, did, her fight didn't stop there. You know, her fight and her um, drive didn't stop there. She actually purchased um, a new building out in Irving and it is amazing i tell you it, it, it's so amazing like when you walk in it's just like oh you see the potential and when i say um volunteers and all that um i want i'm trying to get a team together a seven to ten um girls boys just youth period like i said the ages 11 and 19 to come out and um get some community hours or just volunteer and help us get this on the on, on the ball, you know, because there's a lot of cleaning up. There's a lot of rearranging. There's a lot of furniture moving and things of that nature. So um, I'm calling everybody that wants to volunteer. You can even be an adult to come out, you know, um, and men on a mission. Shout out to you guys. Um, the kids um, nonprofit, him and his boys will be coming out to serve also. So and the descriptions will be all down below um, on Men on a Mission. Men on a mission. Um, if you want to DM me through um, IG, um, you can. Or you can just go on um, All Things Made New website and contact uh, Michelle Flores through that. Um, but I'm so excited, guys. I'm so, like, thrilled because I never knew just from doing my interview, my daughter's interview, and the kids' interview on this teen mom thing um, would actually come out and transpire to this you know so i'm going to be hitting up my church and local communities um to see um to just put that voice out there you know um but yeah contact me guys and i hope you guys like the little snips after this um and this is mostly for the middle school and high school kids because they love doing this sports is amazing. and activities. And then on this side, we're gonna have some video games, some air hockey tables, some foosball tables uh, that are being delivered on Tuesday. Nice. So all that'll be done, it'll be painted and better. And then all these floors are gonna get ripped out and painted like an epoxy concrete fun style. Modern day, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys doing um, like donations or? Mm -hmm. Okay, we perfect, are. perfect. Yeah. This is amazing, Michelle. Isn't it great? It's yes. So, this, is, this is God. Because yes. We were, in, we were in a different building in downtown Irving, mm -hmm. which was fine. We were a little bit cramped, and we had a flood at the beginning of the year because a pipe busted, and so we lost most of our contents. And so we, through that, heard that they were looking to rent this building out, 
And Latre, the same rent we were paying for a thousand square feet, we got this for six thousand square feet. Like that's God. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Because even nobody's make sense. greater. Yeah. It uh -uh. Make sense. And when the things doesn't make yeah. sense, you know, yeah. it comes from And him. it's like, we were at this point of like, we know this is where we're at. We're at point A, but how do we get to point B? Like we didn't understand the how. And I'm like, well, that's the how. Yeah. We literally got kicked out. I got too much right now, but they just unpacked everything. So this will be the baby room. This is neat because it, it feels like home, you right. know? Which is what we want it to feel. Yeah. We don't want it to feel like a you know, industrial um, office. You know, yeah. To feel welcome and relaxed. So then this is the boys' room, and we are still lacking some furniture, but... Um, this is nice. We're hang out with their mentors, but then we're going to get... We have two 60-inch TVs that are being donated this week that we're going to put on the walls here with video game <sighs> systems in the bottom. And then we've got a couple more couches coming just to make it like a lounge where they want yeah. to hang out. Um, and it has that masculine look too. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. We have a wonderful gal that um, she's an interior decorator, and she's like, "I will come and help you design everything." I was like, "Oh, that's perfect. Be my guest." Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys loved it. Um, if you didn't love it, I hope you liked it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to get and make sure your notifications are on. Just because when I post something, you'll get notified. I do. Before we leave, want to read you guys something regarding Grace. Um, it's grace stands for girls raising adolescent children effectively. That's so amazing. Um, and I do want to read a little snippet, um, of their, um, what it's about actually, other than what I've read, um, in the beginning of it. It says, believe in yourself and you can do anything. Grace is specifically for pregnant teenagers and teen moms in this program. Our goal is to empower and inspire the young moms. Each young mother is paired with a leader who develops an organic and genuine relationship with them to walk beside them through life and encourage them by overcoming rejection, declaring confidence, determining identity, and developing trust through the first session. Now, the second session is a life skill portion which promotes proactive parenting and healthy home life relationships using resources such as five love languages for kids. Parenting with love and logic in others. They want our, our teen moms or we want our teen moms to recognize they still have a bright future and community ahead of them. Even with a bump in life or a hiccup in life, um, like I like to say, that creates certain detours, there is still a purpose for them individually and they don't need to settle as a statistic. They are girls now who are growing to raise their own adolescent children effectively in the future. So if you guys want to join, if you are a teen mom or you are pregnant and you're a teen, I really highly encourage you guys to check Grace out um, and join their Grace Today participation application. It's a very simple um, application. You can go online, just jot it all, put your information in, and you will be contacted um, shortly after that. Um, again, the application is not to scare you guys. It's just to kind of give... Um, them a little bit of who you are, how old are you, if you're currently pregnant, um, if you have a kid or multiple kids, um, and they contact you. Like, it's no embarrassment. It's strictly encouraging and uplifting you guys and guiding you guys to be actually a better you. Because honestly, and then when me and Michelle, or Michelle and I t spoke about this earlier, Honestly, if you aren't a better you or you don't find your worth, how can you take care of your child? You know what I'm saying? It goes hand in hand. Like I always say, guys, I hope you loved and liked this. Peace out.